Most people do not come from an entrepreneurial type of family and what they have to do is to go through the method of trial and error, which is inevitable for sure, but why not get started on the right foot? To be honest with you, if I would have learned or if I would have been taught these very simple steps at the beginning of my career, I would have been at a very different place as when this video is being recorded. Now, there's no right or wrong of when it is, you know, the best suitable to learn uh, techniques and key elements. So, in this video, I'm going to share with you the five key elements that are going to help you start your business on the right foot and then create faster, better results. So, if that's something that you are interested in, stay tuned. Terry Alexander here from terryvalexander.com. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I come up with a new training video and a free resource that is there to empower you in your own way. In this episode number 22, I'm going to share with you how to become an attractive leader and marketer. So what is an attractive leader and marketer? In my opinion, it, it is someone who loves, first and foremost, to give value to their audience, to their people, being human first and marketer for a second. Yes, being knowledgeable helps, but being a, per a people person rather than a salesperson without consideration is so much more important to me, right? How about yourself? Do you think it is more important to you or do you think that you would prefer having someone who has all the knowledge and not really caring about you? So let's dive into the five elements that are very attractive to most people, if not every single person, shall I dare say. The first element on how to become an attractive leader and marketer is to be educating your customers, your audience. And let me tell you something that I thought I needed to be, I needed to be an expert and knowing everything. Actually, this is far from being the truth. Like, if we think about it for a second, wouldn't you agree that if you read a book or you watch a documentary that someone didn't and need that information, then you know at the very least one person more than they do. And that is something you can actually share with them and, and educate them on so you can essentially take people on a journey with you while you're learning your topic as well. So you don't need to be an expert, but people love to be educated. People love having information coming to them. And so if you're already providing value and educating them on the topic that you're wanting to become an expert or the person to go to, then you will be already ahead of the game compared to your competition. The second element to become an attractive leader and marketer is to earn that trust. That will be a winner at all time if you implement it in your business, which means that you have to build the no trust like factor and people are going to be more attracted into what you have to offer and what you want to share with them. But now you might ask, how do you build this no trust like factor with people that you might have never met in your life before? And that's absolutely fair. And these are the few points that are going to help you with that. First, connect with them on a, on a common you know, topic that you both like. So bring the topics that you want to share about and then the right people will come to you. So keep on you know, sharing what, what is it that you have in common and then people will relate to you much more easily. 
Second, be a real person. The best ever recommendation I've ever had was to remain myself. The more you are yourself, the more you're going to attract the people that are really liking your style and liking who you really are as a person. Third, own your words. If you said that you were going to do something, then do it. If you said that you were going to make a phone call at a particular time, then make it. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, as a human being, it all happens that we can forget things, but or we double book ourselves, but make sure that the person is aware ahead of time so they can, they can see that you are very serious and considerate of your business as well as their time. And fourth, earn their trust like you have to earn money. Nothing is free in, in the world, right? And the trust is really something that needs to be earned. It's not, we don't get someone's trust, we earn someone's trust. There's no way you're going to give your trust to someone that you, you're not sure they, what they're going to do with it, right? So you need to earn the trust like you're going to a job or building a business to earn money. The third element on how to become an attractive leader and marketer is to be authentic and transparent. Too many often people want to be perfect on the camera or perfect with the people they meet and truth be, truth be told and remembered is that nothing is perfect, right? Not even the humankind and actually not even the humankind. So be you, be the real you and don't be afraid to share your struggles, how far you've come, where you are today, where you want to go and people really love following someone who is genuinely sharing about who they really are as human beings because they can connect a little bit further and on a higher level. People love authenticity because they can create a better, bigger bond with one another. This is what they love. The final but not the least element on how to become an attractive leader and marketer is to be social and responsive. The worst thing that you can do for yourself, your business and your energy is to throw things out there on your Facebook, on your social media and then expecting a response in return without doing nothing. People love socializing so do to others what you would like others to do to you. Which I mean by this is that go and like their comments, go and inter interact on their posts, on their videos, on their Facebook lives, on their stories, on their blog and share their stuff because this is what you will get in return. The more you do it, the more you will receive. In fact, the algorithm of Facebook anyway is that if you are liking and commenting on other people, then your content will be shown to more people. It you will become more visible to more eyeballs. That's what's gonna happen because the algorithm of Facebook is made that way and more and more all the other algorithms of other platforms are actually becoming very similar. So first interact, engage with other people's spots and content and then you will see people that are coming onto yours and in fact what's going to be surprising is that you're going to start seeing people you haven't seen in ages appearing on your content and liking and commenting. What we have to remember is that people want attention just like we do, right? So we need to give that in order to receive. So in closing, what are we achieving here? By implementing all those elements, you're going to be basically building better relationships, you're going to be getting better engagement, and essentially, you're going to be selling more of your products and services and create the best life of your life. And of course, it might not happen all at once, but something that I've been told right at the beginning of my career was very, um, impactful and this is be here a year from now. Be here a year from now where after you started you know creating, uh, implementing new strategies, new techniques and see what happens a year from now. Make a decision to be a better attractive marketer, persist and have a crystal clear vision of where you're going with all this.
So did you get value out of this training? I really truly hope that you did. And if you did, then share this blog post with your friends, your fellow network marketers, your fellow entrepreneurs. This is what it is for. It's free and you can share the love. And remember, each and every week I come up with a new giveaway to empower you in your own way. And this way, because we're talking all about how to become an attractive leader and marketer, I came up with a freebie, which is the business presence fundamentals. So get your hands on the business presence fundamentals just by clicking the yellow button below this video, and then that will be sent directly to your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or on any other platforms, you might have a description section somewhere where you get the link that will get you over to my blog. And below this video, again, you will see the yellow button that you just need to click and you will get the business presence fundamentals guide to your email box. Question of the week. What is the one struggle or biggest fear that you have when talking to strangers? I'd love to know what is your biggest fear or struggle when you're talking to strangers. So maybe I can help you with some strategies and where to go about it, which I've learned myself. And maybe someone else in the community might be also able to help you too. Now, if you have some uh, comments or some answers to, to that question, then please feel free to share as well because we might be able to together help and empower somebody else. So share in the comment section, what is your biggest struggle or fear when interacting with strangers? I'd love to know and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming in every single week and remember to get your freebie and share the love by spreading this Facebook, this training to your people. This training is a wrap.